from Handmade Kids Art. This is our first Facebook Live video where we are going to demonstrate how easy it is to do STEAM activities with young children. In today's demonstration, I am going to share how you can combine science and art in a fun, process-oriented activity for your young creative thinker. So thanks for tuning in and let's go ahead and get started. Now for today, we are going to be creating salt art paintings and with just a few simple materials, I will show you how you can encourage your child's creative thinking and problem solving skills. Now to get started, you are going to need a sheet of construction paper. Today I am using a cardstock paper so it is a little heavier weight and I do recommend using a cookie sheet or a plastic tray underneath your paper. This is going to help contain the mess and make it really easy for cleanup as well. You also are going to need a bottle of glue, some table salt, and I will be using liquid watercolor and a pipette, or you can use an eyedropper with it, but don't worry, if you don't have liquid watercolors, you can use your regular pan set of watercolors as well. So I'll be sure to demonstrate how you can use either way. Now with young thinkers, you want to let them explore and experiment with the materials. So your young artist is going to be very excited that they get to draw with the glue. Now many times children are told not to use a lot of glue, but this is the exception. Today they get to use lots of glue. So let them figure out when they squeeze the bottle hard, it will pour a lot of glue. Or if they squeeze lightly, it's a little bit of glue. It is this type of experimenting and exploring with the tools that your child can begin to problem solve and experiment with new ways to make marks, which is how we encourage those creative thinking skills. So let your child go crazy, let them do glue all over the whole page. Now, if you are working with an older child, you may want to add a little extra challenge to them. Maybe they have to incorporate their name into the pattern or a, a pattern into the design. So you can modify this that for the older child, maybe they have a few more challenges that they have to include into their art activity. But for your youngest one, just let them go crazy with the glue. Now we add the salt and you're going to let your child, it's okay, we have a tray underneath to contain the mess, but you're going to shake the salt all over the glue. So you want to encourage your child to make sure that they cover the entire paper. Now you may be thinking, well that's wasting a lot of salt, but you can actually set the salt aside and save it for another project as well. So once you have your paper completely covered, you can shake it around. And then what I simply do is have a bowl handy that you can shake the extra salt into. So once you've shaken the salt, you can then talk with your child about where the salt is sticking, why do they think it was sticking to the glue and not to the paper. These are types of open-ended questions that you can encourage your child to um, use their thinking skills as they're working. Now that we have our paper set up, we are ready for the color. So this is where it gets really exciting. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, I am using a liquid watercolor that is diluted with a little bit of water, and I have a pipette here that you can order these online fairly cheap, or you can use a plastic eye drop as well. Now, I do recommend giving your child time to explore with these tools. If they haven't used it before, they may get a little excited just by squeezing. So you may want to give your child time to explore and try the tool before going to the artwork. And 
If you're looking for an activity, we have a How to Get Started with STEAM activity guide that includes our color mixing laboratory activity, which is a great beginning step when using these tools. So to sign up for that, you can go over to handmadekidsart.com forward slash subscribe and you will receive our free STEAM activity guide. Okay, but back to our salt art painting. So you're actually going to encourage your child to squeeze the water and place it onto the salt. And, oops, <laughs> it's okay if they drop it. And I'm trying to get close up here, but it's kind of hard with our setup. But the science behind this is the salt is actually absorbing the paint and spreading along the glue lines. Now where it gets really exciting is when you start to mix colors together. So if you start to add in other colors, here we have our blue and our pink, and you can see it'll start to make the purple in the middle. So this is really where you want to encourage your child, um, let them explore, let them make new colors, let them name the colors that they get to create. This is really where you want to encourage that creative thinking. Now, once your child has covered the paper, then you are going to want to let it dry. And it does take about, I would say, 24 hours to completely dry. And this type of artwork, the emphasis is on the process, not the final result. The salt will start to flake off. It's not really a permanent keepsake. But what you can do is encourage your child to use technology, like a digital camera or your own phone, to actually photograph their favorite part of their design. And now you're incorporating even more skills of those STEM and STEAM thinking into their activity. In our next video, I'm going to be sharing how I work with young children and digital cameras. And so I will share all my tips and strategies on that in our next live video. But for today, this is it for our first one. You can go ahead and leave comments below and don't forget to subscribe. I think the button would be like here. And you will be notified of all our live videos. And thank you so much for joining. And I'll try to answer comments below, but I can't actually touch my phone and do the art activity at the same time. So I will do that after the video. Thank you.